Hi, hello. Uh, good morning. Yeah, myself, I am Dr. Mangara, working as Associate Professor in the Department of Technology. Today, actually, we are going to discuss about carbohydrates. Um, so, uh, so what is carbohydrates? Carbohydrates are made up of with uh, carbon, hydrogen, and then oxygen. Made up of this one. These are the uh, um, elements which is there in the carbohydrates. So these are the we can get uh, carbohydrates from the natural uh, sources. We can get uh, carbohydrates from different sources. So here I have I have given uh, one of the video that we can see natural uh, source of carbohydrates. The different source of the carbohydrates. So carbohydrates is very very important for the uh, for the good for the energy. So um, so it is required for the for the body our body so we need a sufficient energy so that's what we are using carbohydrates carbohydrates can produce energy so we can get from the natural sources like your brown rice and then kidney beans and then lentils and then brown bread we can get the carbohydrates and the white rice and the carrots apple beetroot potato nuts Bananas, wheat flour, oats, quinoa, you know, mango, rising dates, barley, chickpea, pears, popcorn, black bean, sweet potato, green peas. So these are the Broccoli and these are the uh, sources we can get the carbohydrates. So this topic covers uh, this topic covers mainly disaccharides and then oligosaccharides. So properties of disaccharides and the classification of disaccharides, structure of disaccharides, oligosaccharides, types of oligosaccharides, and function of oligosaccharides. So what is disaccharides? Disaccharides contain two sugar molecules. Two sugar molecules. It forms the with two sugar monosaccharides joined together and it will form the disaccharides. Basically, two monosaccharide molecules undergo condensation process, then it will form on the, um, the disaccharides and the water molecule, it will be uh, it will come out the water molecule. Disaccharides found in maltose, lactose and then sucrose. These are the, we can see the um, disaccharides. What are the properties of disaccharides? Disaccharides are soluble compounds in solvents and then why actually it is uh, soluble in uh, uh, polar solvents? Because these compounds contain hydroxyl group in these molecules and these are the crystal form and these are the water soluble compounds and these uh, disaccharides taste very sweet and then when digested to monosaccharides before they can be absorbed and used for the energy. Classification of disaccharides. There are two different types of the disaccharides. So reducing and then non-reducing disaccharides. Reducing disaccharides actually these Reducing sugar is a free hemiacetal. So, for example, maltose and cellulose. And then non-reducing sugars. In this type, monosaccharides have no free hemiacetal. So, example in this one, sucrose and triallose. These are the classification of disaccharides. And then maltose. Maltose, example, uh, one of the example uh, for disaccharides. Maltose. So maltose it is a uh, characteristic is a malt flavor and uh, this maltose end product of enzymatic degradation of starch and glycogen by amylase. And uh, this, this maltose shows mutation and this maltose can be fermentable and this is a water soluble compound. And this is a structure of maltose. You can see here one molecule of alpha D glucose and the another molecule of beta D glucose. When it goes to condensation process, it will form the maltose. That is alpha D glucopyranosole or uh, 1,2,4 D glucopyranose. 
this is a alpha d glucose react with beta d glucose and in condensation process then it will form the maltose and when it when the maltose undergo hydrolysis process then it will form the two sugar ethers that is alpha d glucose and then beta d glucose for your understanding we have given here we have provided hemi acetal carbon 1 you can see here alpha d glucose and carbon 1 position hemi acetal hydrogen and hydrogen and then hydroxy molecules are there you can see these are the functional group hydroxy group so on the carbon position 1 you can see the hemi acetal so this one is the uh, maltose you can see here maltose there is acetal and then hemi acetal you can able to see here give example and the next one is lactose lactose one molecule of glucose and another molecule of galactose it will form the lactose when the glucose is react with galactose then it will form the lactose so usually the milk actually contain 4 to 5% of the lactose when hydrolyzed by lactase strong acids we can we can hydrolyze by lactase and strong acids and this is the structure of lactose you can see here one molecule of galactose and the another molecule of glucose when it goes to condensation process then it will form the lactose when it is hydrolyzed then again it will form the galactose and then glucose and then here you need observe that the linkage between galactose and then glucose the linkage you can see here alpha 1 comma beta sorry beta 1 comma 4 linkage here the uh, between galactose and then glucose the linkage is uh, alpha and beta 1 comma 4 and then coming to sucrose then glucose react with fructose then it will form the sucrose so this is the structure of uh, sucrose but the linkage here is alpha 1 comma 2 here the linkage and then oligosaccharides oligosaccharides are, are can change 3 to 4 sugar units and it will form the oligosaccharides and uh, sweet taste and they are these are actually water soluble in water three monosaccharides is called trisaccharides For example raffinose maltotriose maltotetrose these are some of the examples of oligosaccharides and oligosaccharides are short chain of monosaccharides linked together by glycosidic bond in the case of oligosaccharides linked to proteins that is nothing but glycoproteins if it is linked to lipids that we usually mention that glycolipids oligosaccharide is not a repeating unit but consist of range of different monosaccharides joined by a variety of bonds here we have provided raffinose structure and the maltotriose structures the raffinose structures you can see here the linkage between sugar molecule 1 to 1 there is alpha 1 comma 6 and then alpha 1 comma 4 linkages are there and here is maltose you can see there are three sugar units linked together alpha 1 comma 4 and then coming to types of oligosaccharides there are two types of oligosaccharides that is oxygen linked oligosaccharides attached to the protein via oxygen glycosidic bonds to the hydroxyl groups of serine a trionine side chain serine and trionine is amino acids if you see the structures okay structure of this amino acids this uh, oxygen linked oligosaccharide linked to the oxygen hydroxyl groups where actually it is linked to the hydroxyl group okay but it is uh, uh, through the glycosidic bond coming to nitrogen linked oligosaccharides these actually oligosaccharides attach to the protein via nitrogen glycosidic bonds to the amino groups of aspergine side chains that means aspergine actually is a uh, amino acid so this uh, oligosaccharides linked to the 
amine group. So it, it, it's actually kind of uh, nitrogen into the oligosaccharides. And the oligosaccharides functions, these oligosaccharides and glycoproteins present on the surface of cell membrane serves as identifiers and assess the cells in their recognition and cell cell ad adhesion. And the next one coming to recognition of immunoglobulin IC we call liver cells recognize IC with the help of oligosaccharides. And nitrogen fixation. Oligosaccharides present on the wall of nitrogen fixing bacteria help in binding of bacteria to the root air of leguminous plants. So these are actually to the topic 